How's it going everybody? As most racers know, drag racing is an acceleration contest between two cars. Yes, there are some bracket classes that are an exception to this rule, but even those classes, acceleration g-force is an important factor for consistency reasons. Many often wonder why we here at Racepack always refer to g-meters as being so important. Well, because they are. In short, if you're not accelerating forward, you're not getting the fullest performance out of your race car. This works in conjunction with tire slippage. When you're looking at race pack graphs, always remember to pull up acceleration g-force and driveshaft RPM together. Reason being is if you have increased driveshaft RPM and decreased acceleration g-force, you're not moving forward to your fullest potential. Using these two channels together can help you learn to control your wheel speed, thus gaining maximum performance out of your vehicle. If you don't currently have a G-meter in your race pack data logger, we have now come out with a new remote two-axis VNet G-meter module. This new G-meter VNet module can be used in conjunction with any of our race pack data loggers, such as an LDX dash or our new IQ3 drag racing data logger dash. This new VNet G-meter module not only gives you the ability to measure your acceleration Gs, but also your lateral side-to-side -side G movement as well. This will allow you to make sure you're making it down the track the straightest and quickest way possible. So be sure to check out our new remote two-axis G-meter VNet module for those UDX or IQ3 loggers that don't have equipped G-meters built in. It's a real snap. You just stick it on there with some Velcro and read it into your VNet and off you go. So be sure to take the guessing out of your runs and order yours today. For more information on a wide variety of VNet sensors we offer here at Racepack, be sure to log on to racepack.com or give us a call at 949-709-5555 and we hope to see you at the track soon.